The Australian market has received positive leads from overnight trading offshore after earlier concerns about stability on the Korean peninsula appear to have eased. Wall Street closed mixed on Monday after a day of light trading, weighed down by sharp drops in American Express and Boeing. The Dow Jones Industrial Average slipped 13.8 points to settle at 11,478, while the S&P 500 Index, a broader measure of the market, gained approximately 3 points to 1,247. The tech-rich Nasdaq rose 6.6 .6 points to 2,649.5. An hour into local trading and the ASX 200 index is 30 points or 0.6 of a percent higher for the session with financials and resources leading the market higher. In company news, mid-tier Pilbara iron ore miner Atlas Iron has made an $830 million takeover for fellow mid-tier iron ore explorer Geralia Resources. Geralia is currently trading 40% higher at $4.17. In further news, which goes to show just how hot the Australian mid-tier resource sector is at the moment, coke and coal developer Riversdale Mining have entered a trading halt today, citing a possible transaction affecting control of its assets, following takeover talks with Rio Tinto. In other news, Lendlease Group said today it has agreed to buy Valamus Australia from German builder Billfinger Burger for $960 million with the deal expected to be completed in the first quarter of 2011. Lendley said in a statement, the acquisition would be funded from cash reserves and a new five-year $225 million debt facility. Lendlease is currently trading up 4% at $8.60. On the currency front, the Australian dollar gained against the greenback overnight and is currently buy buying 99.31 US cents. This is Dirk Van Dissel for Baker Young Stockbrokers.